Hello, hello everyone, my name is Steve Sarah and welcome back to room 2. So, um, unfortunately I did miss the uh, the second time slot for today, but uh, I'm sorry about that. I don't really have a good excuse either, it's only that, well, I had, uh, well, I had too little time to really fit in without having to skip sleep, and I don't want to skip sleep, so. I, I slept for as long as I had to, and then I got past the uh, the window. Oh well. Anyway, we uh, we are definitely feeling this time new, and my voice is a lot better, so we should have no issue making this a full part. Unless my computer crashes or something. Yeah, shouldn't jinx it. Anyway, I sent these guys forward to take Samosata. Yes. Also, Athens has secured my back, and Sparta is actually pushing into... Well, it looks like they're about to push into this region and take the city. Interesting. So, I still have to worry about this little fleet right here, which really is an army. So, I don't know what they will go for. They probably tried to capture Memphis. And, unfortunately, I don't have um, that much really that can defend them defend it. Um, well, I'll send these guys back and make sure that if it gets taken, I can very quickly capture it again. But yeah. I was going to say that is it for this turn, but apparently I have a 5 second memory. At least it seems so. Because I wanted to take care of these guys. And uh, do I actually want to fight this? Um, I don't know actually. I might want to. Really depends on how many, how many skirmishers they have. Okay, they have a few Eastern Archers, but I have Slingers. Yeah, why not? At this point, it hasn't been that long since I've actually fought the battle. But I think it's been a while since I've... I was gonna say for, for the city battle, but apparently this is not a city battle. Why is this not a city battle? Hmm. Well... If you want to get absolutely annihilated, I guess you can decide to uh, sally forth and not fight inside your city, where you probably would have a better chance of winning. Still a chance that uh, is not great enough to actually win, but at least something that would make it a bit harder for me to actually take it. Anyway, start the deployment, and we can actually see the city in the background, which is interesting. Looks quite nice, actually. Very defendable. Well, a shame that you decided not to do so. Swordmasters! Leakers! Also, I'm definitely not adventurous when it comes to uh, experimenting on uh, different layouts for my armies when I deploy them. That's for sure. So, sorry if you think this army, not composition, but army formation is a bit, uh, well, gets a bit boring. Anyway, Persian cavalry. Are they skirmishers? I don't think so. By the way, where are you getting your reinforcements from? I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be very fun to gobble on you. What is this thing? Hmm. Is that what you string into the... Well, what do you put the string into? I guess. What's the word for it? The notch? I don't know. Yeah, Hillman and Axman. And to top it all off, <laughs> Eastern Spearman. Yeah, I don't see um, I don't see me having any problems winning this. Okay, so we'll step it up a notch. I thought 
I saw, saw something um, pop in here. I guess I didn't. Okay, so now we're going into Hoplite Wall. Interesting. Anyway, let's try to get it up in range here. Oh yeah, and we can... Uh... Yeah, they do have some skirmishers of their own. That's unfortunate. We'll do a bit of that. Yeah, most of these guys will just try to skirmish away, so I have to keep the pressure on. Also, I can use my cavalry to make it a lot easier on me. Shouldn't I be able to throw a few spears at them? There we go. Suck on that. General is under attack. I don't think so, really. Come on, lose some spears. There we go. Hoo <laughs> hoo. I like it. Well, if you insist, I'll gladly slaughter your mob. Oh, you deployed the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, not that good for you. I wouldn't recommend that tactic. Yeah, also, I'm about to crush you into the red line. And now suddenly they all magically turn around. Because that's totally feasible. In a tight formation like that. Oh well. Oh, yeah, I guess I can put you in skirmish mode. Go for the archers, if you'd be so kind. And why did you stop your charge there? That was weird. Oh yeah, you tried to gobble gobble on my, my slingers. Well, it wasn't that good of an idea, was it? And now pretty much the entire enemy army is in flight. And now... It is. Totally. Gonna end the battle right there. Because this is after all the city battle. Technically. I don't have to kill all of them in order to actually kill all of them. 343. Quite nice. Yeah, the slingers. They have good range, but they don't have. Well, they have decent damage, but they're not as effective as I would like them to be. 
Well, they are no javelin men, that's for sure. For the tribe. Of course, you win some, you lose some. When it comes to... To, um... Advantages, I guess. There we go. Get that upgraded, yo. And apparently... Well, not that much that stops me from capturing this region right away. Well, not right away, but... Um, we need... One turn of movement. And hopefully a bit of replenishment. And then we can attack. As far as I can tell. I don't see... Um, and see any enemy armies here. Well, I do, but not any any armies that can actually um, that are actually strong enough to be useful. Anyway, um, this city is still very well defended, so I am gonna attack it uh, probably with at least two armies. Maybe I'll bring three over. And the reason why I still have these guys here is because of this fleet. But hopefully, I can get my fleet into a battle with this fleet, and hopefully that'll be enough to absolutely devastate it. But unfortunately I'm quite sure that quite a lot of my heavy raiders actually will um, lay on the bottom of the ocean. Oh well, I guess those are things we have to deal with, just have to live with. Anyway, let's end the turn and sit through about five minutes of agent actions before we can actually do stuff. Also, we, we might lose Memphis, as I've said previously. So let's see if that actually happens. Can't remember which faction are actually the ones attacking me. Might be the next one. Might be. And yeah, appar apparently Arminius agents aren't dead yet. I guess we'll, we'll have to try to change that. There we go. Told you. I actually do have some reinforcements. Not mine, though. I cannot control them. Well... Yeah, the, these units are so bad. But they are still... There, there are still too many of them. For me to be able to hold them off. Well, I guess I could try to, but... Yeah, most, most likely there, there wouldn't be a chance for me. I guess I can try. Just to do them as much damage as possible before we lose the battle. Okay, so it has kept the... Um... Or has it? I don't know. Has it kept the... Um... The Greek layouts? Or I guess the Egyptian layouts? But it really is Greek. No, it's actually a barbaric one. Yeah, I, I, I hoped it was the, uh, the hill with uh, like two entrance points. Although, I don't have that many entrance points either. Hang on! I recognize this layout. This is the exact same layout as my village, like in... in... in Germania. Or Gaul. Can't remember. But this is just the exact same thing, just with palm trees. Instead of... well... Hmm, like oak and stuff like that. Anyway, um, yeah, we have one, two, three. Well, I guess if you count this as a major point of entrance, one, two, th three, kinda. I guess we can do that, but we have way too few troops in order to actually do it like that. But I guess if we are desperate enough. Yeah, I don't really have that that many troops, so I can't guard multiple entrance points. Like, more than two. And, yeah, right now I need to guard three, so I'll definitely have uh, have some troubles. Anyway, start the battle and see what the Macedonians can help me with. Oh. There they are. Yeah, unfortunately for, for these guys, they will not be able to... Um, they will not be able to win me this battle, I'm quite certain of it. Yeah, you can see immediately. If I'm gonna 
guard at this entrance, they are just gonna go around here, so... Very light missile cab. And slingers, which are very light missile infantry. Unfortunately, I don't have any units that can actually um, get to them. I love how the second rank is like desperate for protection, and every single rank behind that, it, it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. I don't care at all. Anyway, um, yeah. We might as well just speed this battle up. There's really no micering we can do that uh, can help us out here. Just a movement order here and there. And there we go, the Eastern Spearmen are trying to outflank me. Or maybe not. For some reason they thought it would be a better idea to... Okay, never mind then. Gonna do it like that then. Okay, so apparently Spearmen are very weak to cavalry charges. Who knew? Yeah, this is... Uh, I might as well quit out of the battle right away, really. Those are already... broken. And, as I said, they're, um, the units are really... They're subpar, but... When my are subpar as well, and they have... About... Four times the unit... The, the amount of men I have, then... Uh, yeah, suddenly, uh, this is a battle I cannot win. Although it should be said that my unit is actually decently healthy. Except the one that has run away. Look at this, they're still doing relatively well here. I'm a bit surprised about that. I think majority of the damage they have taken is actually due to um, skirmishers. Speaking of skirmishers, mine are about to die. Oh, I lost the other ones as well. Yeah. And it's all about the shatter pretty much. And somehow these guys are actually the ones that are holding out the longest. Well, they're holding out the best, but that's probably because, uh, well, they haven't been charged by, uh, by heavy cavalry, heavy shock cavalry and all of that. And yeah, they are causing a lot of damage to themselves, so I guess I should, I should take what I can out of this battle. Also, uh, the Macedonians are about to get into helping distance, but unfortunately... I'm about to be capped. Well, there's really not that much that can be done. Is this only a morale point or something? They haven't won yet. So when these guys route, am I then... Like, officially dead? Or do the Macedonians also have to be killed? Apparently they do. So, uh, <laughs> I guess I have to rely on the AI. And just because of that reason, I am not that positive on the outcome. Even though you do have some quite awesome units here. This Foot Companions could be able to do stuff. Well, they have too many skirmishers. Um, Honestly, so. Yeah, look at this. Foot companions already down to 140. Well, if you're gonna charge your cavalry like that. You're charging your cavalry into spears like that? I don't know.
They're doing a bit better than I expected. But they're still gonna lose horribly. And there you go. So yeah, as I said, Memphis... Um, well, they kind of did a... I don't know what I would call it. I, I would call it like a scummy move. <sighs> but, but not re really scummy. It's calculated because of uh, the fact that it is an AI and not an actual player. Can please beat it up a bit. There we go. Anyway, we are still on the end turn, which means still more agents that needs to do their the stuff before action can happen. Instigated by me and not by the AI, that is. There we go, sorry about that. Wow, what a lot of guys died there. Don't believe all of those were natural causes though. Oh well. Hmm. Good on you then. What are you doing actually? Corruption. Oh. So you're just constantly doing that? Yeah, why not? What can I do here? I can go for guerrilla action, which wrecks despair amongst the populace. The small-scale military actions, the struggle to maintain order also leaves local settlements vulnerable to sellers agent actions. Yeah, why not? I'm not really doing anything right now, so... With those agents, that is. Anyway, uh, yes, of course the fleet move out of the way. They didn't want to be within range of... My awesome fleet. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, right outside my range. Just outside it. So it's very calculated. Anyway, that means that this city is no longer under a threat. Which means that I can have these guys moved out. Which means that next turn, I will be able to have them move in. And help out here. Unless, well, this is not a stable region, and that might actually be because of me. Nope. Actually, it's mostly because of cultural differences. And it's still at minus 35. That's bad. That is so bad. Hmm. Yeah, I like to have that much income, but I'm gonna have to demolish it and build a uh, cultural conversion thingy. Uh, actually, if I try to rush it, that might also help. Like I tried to rush actually capturing that. So, um... Well, if they're in Force Marsh, they cannot... They cannot reinforce. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah, I'll keep it that, uh, like that for this turn, and maybe try to go for it next turn. And then I will have these guys ready as well. Oh, I can upgrade. Yes, I, uh, I did some conversion, didn't I? But yeah, I also need to recapture Memphis, as I said previously. So let's do that just about now. And yeah, as I said, those units are really, really crappy. But uh, And the only reason that I lost the settlement was that my units were crappy as well. And there were so few of them. Freaking hell, have you already managed to... That shouldn't be possible. That is straight... That straight up is not possible. You managed to convert it on one turn. Really? Yeah, the AI is cheating. It wasn't ev <laughs> obvious already. Anyway, uh, what did we have here? That and give that into 
the proper girl show. So yeah, the region is quite unstable. But I might have the strength to actually move in and take this. Because this doesn't appear to be that... Uh, well, it's not at the highest quality, to put it that way. At least from what I can tell. Good for you, I guess. Do I have any agents that can actually reach down there? Probably not. They are too far away for that. By the way. Nice one. And we level up. Congratulations. Honor to serve me after I bribed you. Sure. Unfortunately, this is not a coastal region. So, well, if it had been, I could have uh, tried to take it with... Um, I could have tried to take it with my navy, or at least help out with my navy. Oh well, uh, I'll have these guys move down, and these guys plus these guys should definitely be enough to take care of this next turn. Um, actually, I probably have the strength needed to take it this turn. Let's check. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, the, these factions, they don't have the, uh, they don't have the most killer uh, infantry, that's for sure. So I can actually hold to solve it immediately. That's funny. Okay, so we have a few things that needs to be flipped and destroyed. Especially the slums, you somehow manage to let that uh, accumulate there. I guess I shouldn't be, <laughs> be the one talking, seeing how shitty I've been. Sometimes, when it comes to uh, just stopping uh, all the slums from getting built. Anyway, Egypt, Lower Egypt has been entirely lost by Egypt, so I had to reclaim all of that. And how many armies do I want to get, give towards that? Um, yeah, these ones as well. So I think I'll um, I'll let these guys stabilize a bit, stabilize this region a bit, because right now it's minus 25 for, for a few different reasons, one among them being the recent conquest debuff. But, uh, by the way, I own this region entirely now, which is sweet. Oh, 